So tonight, people living and working downtown say they are targets. Thieves are breaking into cars, making a mess and getting away fast. Our Evan Millward is downtown right now with what police are now doing to try to track down and stop those thieves. It's happening a lot in parking lots and garages like this one on 7th Street. We found a couple of cars with damage like this. The window is shattered. Police say they have a pretty good idea now who's behind a rash of break ins inside this garage. It's frustrating and scary, kind of scary. It's like your personal space. Jen Heitkempers noticed more break ins. Her car has been torn through, so she keeps her doors unlocked. I don't have anything valuable in here, um, and if I do, it might be like a few pennies or something, right. so I'd rather them rummage through than break a window. Several spots down from her, this window shattered but didn't give. Not far, this car's windows in pieces. One resident shared these pictures with WCP09. Several cars in a similar state, glass everywhere. Ethan Bolka parks here too. I have, like, have anything valuable like set out my car. Cincinnati police say that's solid advice. I mean, I'm just kind of looking in the car and just looking for valuable stuff. And I, I got to say, this particular lot we picked, they seem to be doing a pretty good job. They say theft from autos is the number one crime downtown. It usually is. The most recent police data, though, shows it's up a lot in the last few months. So here you go. Here's golf clubs. We found Central Business Sector Captain Doug Wiseman walking this nearby parking lot. Here's, here's some stuff. Look at this purse. Is that a bag? He's checking cars. He says he gets more complaints about break-ins than anything. We do DNA collection, fingerprints, facial recognition when we catch people on video and get a good shot of their face. So, like, we really pay very close attention to these crimes. Wiseman says he's got a detective assigned to these, and they've arrested several teens and adults who sometimes get out of custody and strike again. They were flying in and out on scooters. It's part of why there's a 6 p.m. curfew on them now. He says it's a group of about 25 people. You know, we take it very seriously. 3CDC, which manages some of these garages, says it's bringing in more staff to watch them and paying for police patrols. Residents are hopeful it helps. Just having a presence here has, um, I, that's made me feel better. In downtown, I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News.